I am happy to announce that we are at the beginning of a fresh start here on our Chernobylite channel. My name is Andrzej and I am in the Chernobylite developers team and you will be hearing and seeing me a lot more often from now on. If you're interested in Chernobyl, its history and the place itself, you should really enjoy this new series. So not to keep you waiting, here is the video for today. 1, 23, 43. The exact time when the reactor number 4 exploded. And why it exploded exactly and how did it happen? You will hear this later. 2. 2 kilometers, that was the distance between the nuclear power plant and the Pripyat city. Around 50,000 people lived there and if you wonder why the city was so large, it would be good to know that nuclear power plant was one of the largest nuclear power plants in Europe at that time, so in the 70s and 80s. 4. The number of infamous Chernobyl nuclear power plant reactor, which was pushed to the edge of destruction by its operators. Unfortunately, it did get destroyed, which, well, resulted in the worst nuclear disaster in human history. 6. The total number of reactors at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And yes, you could imagine that the reactor number 4 was the last one. Well, it kind of was because the buildings where the next two reactors were planned to be placed were never finished. When the disaster occurred, the fifth and sixth were during the construction. 9. Nine years from the official Chernobyl nuclear power plant start to the disaster. It doesn't seem that short when you think about it, but it hasn't been even a decade. As mentioned just before, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was still being built, as reactor number 4 wasn't the last one they planned. 16. 16 kilometers from the Ukraine-Belarus border, while it's 100 kilometers from Ukraine's capital, Kiev. It is said that, at first, the power plant was planned to be built near the capital, but the advisors recommended that it should be located elsewhere due to safety reasons. Maybe they didn't anticipate what exactly would happen in the future, but the advisors surely made the right decision. 30. 30 kilometers is the radius of the zone of alienation, better known as Chernobyl exclusion zone. The first days after the disaster it was smaller though, it had about 10 kilometers. Now, after many changes and alterations to the original plan, the zone is about 2600 square kilometers. 36 years. 36 years has passed since the infamous night. 26th April 2022 marked the 36th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. Well, it's not a recent thing, but then again, I know a lot of people who are older than this, so it kinda give you a perspective. 211. That many control rods their RBMK reactor number 4 had. The control rods could be described as one of the failsafes. They could be moved up and down, altering the process inside their reactor core. Long story short, and not exactly physically correct, the power can increase if you pull the control rods out. The more you pull out, the higher power can get, while the minimum safe of 15 that should be still inside. On the fatal night, operators pulled almost everyone, which was one of the many reasons for the disaster. 235. It is the number of the isotope of uranium that was used in RBMK reactor in Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The shortcut is U-235. In nuclear power plant, one gram of that isotope could provide as much as almost 1000 kilowatt hours. If we would stick to a precise mathematical formula, count atoms and convert the numbers to the energy released by a fission reaction, we would get about 962 kilowatt hours, and that's just one gram of the fuel. 350. 350 kilograms, that much each control rod weight. To put it in a perspective, that's the weight of one of the bigger type of Harley Davidson motorcycle and that's just one rod. There were 211 rods in reactor number 4, so their total weight was over 70 tons. 700 to 1000 700 to 1000 megawatts, that power output was supposed to be achieved during the test on the night of the disaster. 3000 megawatts, that power output was planned for the RBMK reactor number 4. Instead, the reactor reached about 10 times more. 30,000 megawatts. However, the number was learned through a mathematical simulation and the instruments did not register the subsequent course of events. As you may guess, it was an educated guess, but the real power spike could be higher or lower. 
Some of the simulations said that the real power spike could be 120 times higher than the maximum safe power output of that kind of nuclear reactor. 5925. That many days passed from the foundation of Pripyat until the disaster. That was exactly 16 years, 2 months and 22 days, but officially the city was founded in 1979. Pripyat was built to be an Atomgrad, which roughly translates to an atom city. First, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant location was destined, then a city followed. It was constructed mostly for the power plant workers and their families, but of course, a usual everyday like infrastructure was built too. 10,000 Rengen per hour. That was estimated level of radiation inside the first sarcophagus, in certain areas of course, in 1996. So, around 10 years after the disaster. For you to better understand how enormous that number is, the usual dose of background radiation in the cities is 20 to 50 microrentgens per hour. One rentgen is one million microrentgens. That means if you stood inside the sarcophagus in 1996, you would get 200 million times the dose that you could get wandering around a big European city center. 68,000. 68,000 people were relocated from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant closest Finn city. The people of Pripyat of course, but not limited to, as there were more people living in the area than just the USSR's Atomgrad. 500,000. 500,000 people were involved in the disaster. At least one of the main sources say so. The number varies depending on who counted, so the estimations were very different. Of course, the USSR was not known for its honesty when it comes down to acknowledging their own mistakes, let alone admitting that they have caused the worst nuclear disaster in human history. So, however the number could be lower, it could also be a lot higher. 740,000 cubic meters, all heavily contaminated, were covered by the first sarcophagus. 400,000 cubic meters of concrete along with 7,000 tons of metal framework were used. 1 million kilograms. That was the weight of the concrete shield placed above the reactor number 4. The power of the explosion was so enormous that this shield was lifted. As a result, the metal tubes reacted with water, used to cool the reactor, and highly flammable hydrogen gas was released. The gas also exploded. That's why the building was basically ripped apart from within and the debris scattered on the ground and surrounding buildings, including the rooftops. 69 billion dollars. The total estimated cost of the disaster, as counted in 2019 and adjusted for inflation. It includes, for example, the material costs, material used to harness the outcome of the disaster, as well as the equipment and the worth of power plant itself, some parts of it at least, as it was still working years later. 250 billion dollars. The estimated economic damage of the disaster as counted in 2009 and adjusted for inflation. 250 billion dollars. You heard me right. You could buy almost 313 million iPhones 14 for that. The number equals total economic damage including for example the personnel, the buildings, lost potential and long term damage including radiation sickness within the liquidators ranks. And the last number is 2. The direct casualties. That was the number given by the USSR at first. Later on, the official number has grown to 30, all power plant workers. However, remember the huge number of liquidators that have taken part in the post-disaster cleanup. Their individual doses were measured to be around 250 microsieverts, which is roughly 5 times the minimum safe dose. It's not a little one, but could influence their bodies and their health. That's it for today guys, I hope you learned something or at least heard one or two new interesting facts about Chernobyl disaster. If you want to share some other facts you know that we didn't mention, feel free to do so in the comments section. If you also have some propositions for the next videos, write to us here on our channel. And be sure you don't miss the next video. See you soon.